Good property company. Um, welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> it's really good, isn't it? <laughs> Loops behind the camera. Uh, what we've got going on here is a grade two listed house, four story townhouse. I bought it when it, oh, it did have a roof, but the roof basically was the trusses and um, basically some green plastic. Um, so it, it, it was, it, it did have a roof, but technically it was really just a piece of plastic sheeting. Uh, and we're doing a full massive refurb. It's about nine months refurb. Um, and what we can, we're, we're almost at the point of strip out. What we've done upstairs is one, two, three floors is actually almost finished, almost painted. Um, first fix is finished, plumber's coming in. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna do all the wallpaper and then actually basically seals everything off. So weirdly, the first three floors are gonna be done like ready to move in, you know, the, the, the beautiful flooring. This is a, a Georgian house, so the flooring is um, all sealed, sanded, uh, everything will be done. And then the ground floor has got this going on, to, if you want to show it around. So the floor should normally be about this level. <laughs> However, the guys have had to dig down and they've had to lift the flagstones, which are historic and need to come back as much as we were able to save them. Um, we've gone back to full wall and we got back to full wall here. So there's some interesting stuff going on because as you can see that is slightly damp. <laughs> as in in winter there was an awful lot of damp. So this is one of those houses where the front of the house is higher up than the back of the house. So if we were to go out to the garden there you'll actually see the garden slightly slopes away. Whereas the front of the house the the, the earth actually is one story further up because we're on quite, a st we're not on a steep hill, but that the particular bit that the house is on is on a steep hill. So what we're going to have to do uh, to protect this beautiful old house is put, is dig down in the front of the house and put tanking to protect the foundations on the outside of the house, which is, um, I think my word is mental. We're looking at all sorts of different kind of structures that we're going to use right now um, in order to protect the house. I mean, that is basically against a bunch of dirt and that bunch of dirt has got a bunch of moisture. And as you can see, that bunch of moisture is coming in. So I have never done this before. Uh, so this is a first for me too. I've done damp proofing loads of times. I've done damp work. I've done dry rot, you know, all of that kind of what you might call normal. But we're actually basically going to slide down a great big uh, damp protection. It, it's to do with an interesting kind of way that it's put together. And then the guys are going to put the earth back towards the front of the house. So I'm going to watch with great interest. So for me, where did that solution come from? It came from the architect. And clearly this one we've had to put in towards the conservation folks and the planners, and that solution was provided uh, to, by the architect. So a new one for me. I also want you to enjoy the, the, the toilet. Here, <laughs> one of the things is, when you're doing a renovation, you have got to think about health and safety, obviously, but more than that, you've got to think about where your guys are gonna pee. Because if you do not have a toilet on site, clearly it's not a suitable working environment. So either you've got to bring one in or you've got to keep one. Be uh, because also, if there isn't one on site, uh, they've got to go off to the cafe every time. And that's no good in an eight hour working day. So always make sure you've got um, a fantastic toilet on site and uh, I'd love you to enjoy mine. Right, I hope that's helpful. If anybody else has got interesting solutions for how you put in health um, damp proofing, as we're going to do for Georgian houses, which are grade two listed, I'd love you to do some comments just because I think everyone will learn about it. See you soon, bye.